So let's use our new model to uh, see what's going to happen uh, in the medium run when the government implements an expansionary monetary policy. That is, if the government increases the money supply in the economy. Remember that aggregate demand depends positively on the uh, real money stock in the economy. So, if the real money stock in the economy increases because the government decides to uh, do a, an expansionary monetary policy, then that will increase income in the short run. That is, there will be a uh, shift to the right of the aggregate demand curve, which would look like something like this. In the beginning, we are at our medium run equilibrium, at our potential output, but then the government shifts aggregate demand with the uh, monetary policy, uh, and thus, in the short run, it increases output. So, this boost in the economy provokes an increase in prices, which are not equal to the expected price level anymore. And the key here is that uh, in the short run equilibrium, output is bigger than potential output. So, since the economy has been expanded, the unemployment rate has gone down. And remember, over time, if the unemployment rate is lower, then workers will have higher bargaining power. If they have higher bargaining power, then they will demand higher wages. And if they demand higher wages, then firms will face higher costs and they will transmit it in terms of higher prices of the products they sell. But the key here is that firms face higher costs. That is, there is a shift to the left of the aggregate supply curve. Thus, in the medium run, this shift in supply because of higher uh, costs and higher prices will make the economy return to its uh, natural level of output, but with an increase in the price level. So let's see what happened in detail. We first have this expansionary uh, shock in the money stock in the economy, which is basically a shift down of the LM, bringing up uh, uh, the output in the economy because uh, our interest rate is going down, that is, uh, investment goes up and uh, output goes up. But in the median run, as wages rise and prices rise, uh, the, the money stock, the real money stock, which is right here after the expansionary policy, uh, starts going down because actually if prices increase, then the real money stock decreases, and it goes like that, down. Then, the interest rates that that had gone down that way will return to go up here. So, the LM will shift up until it reaches its initial equilibrium, and the nominal interest rate will remain unchanged, and so will do the uh, output, which will stay at its uh, natural level. And this is exactly what's uh, shown at our uh, ASAD graph. So we're important. Uh, prices increase proportionally uh, with respect to the uh, initial expansion of the money supply by the government. And this will make uh, output return to the uh, potential output level, the natural level of output in the medium run. So we can say that, in the medium run, this expansionary monetary policy has no effect on output, nor on interest rate. But it does increase prices, so it brings up inflation. There is actually a name for that, that is the neutrality of money, at least in the medium run. Because this expansion in the money supply uh, has not really increased the uh, the output in the economy, but it has increased prices, it has brought about inflation, which is a negative thing.